I'm going to be reviewing Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now this is young adult and fantasy, two areas that I don't read a lot of, so this is kind of my version of stepping outside of my comfort zone. And I can safely say after reading this, I won't be doing that anymore. I'm just kidding, who did I fool? No, I did enjoy this, and of course this review will be spoiler free. I also did want to say, because a few people have asked me, I will be filming a favorite books of 2015, but I had this book I wanted to finish first, and there's another one I'm probably going to finish today. So I just, I always like to just finish out the year before I do my year in review, so that will probably be my next video. So this story begins in a very small village in this magical world that resides right on the edges of this ominous wood, this great forest that takes up much of this world. In this village we have Agnieszka, I hopefully that's how you say her name. She's 17 years old, quite clumsy, it's stated she's not very attractive, and every 10 years this dragon, he's referred to as the dragon but he's a man, he comes down to the village and selects one of the girls to go back to his tower and live with him for 10 years. What I'm about to say happens. I think probably on page 9 or 10, so this is not a spoiler, everyone in the village assumes that Kasia, who is Agnieszka's best friend, Kasia is beautiful and heroic and just incredibly brave. Everyone assumes the dragon is going to select her, but surprisingly he selects Agnieszka instead. So right off in the first 10 pages she goes back with him, back to his tower, and from there we learn a lot more about the magic of this world, the political issues residing between the kingdoms, and especially a lot about the wood, this great forest. So first I will start off with the good and then I'll get into the bad. So when I was reading a lot of reviews I was very surprised to find that a lot of the negative reviews surrounded the characters. A lot of people said that they fell flat or they didn't like them. I personally adored the characters in this book, particularly the friendship between Agnieszka and Kasia. As I think I said before I started reading this, I was worried how the theme of beauty was going to be handled in this book because I think 95% of the time beauty is not handled well in YA and generally most of the time the protagonist is this beautiful young girl who doesn't realize she's beautiful and every single male in the story is just in awe of her and she doesn't realize it somehow. But I was very happy to find in this book that although physical attractiveness does come up at some points because as it is stated, Kazi is stunning and Agnieszka is not, there's no relevance between their physical exterior and, and their internal personalities. I was very happy to see that Agnieszka just didn't really care what she looked like, but I won't talk too much about that because I kind of want to do a whole separate video discussing that. So I adored Kasia and Agnieszka, particularly their friendship. The only character that I would say didn't feel very realistic for me would probably be the dragon. I did like his character and I enjoyed every single scene that he was in, but at the same time it just didn't feel realistic. It felt like a bit of a trope to me. But my favorite entity in the book, I guess I would say, would probably be without a doubt the wood. So as I said, the wood is kind of this malicious, ominous presence throughout the entirety of the story when Agnieszka is young. The children obviously living within the village are told never venture into the wood. Someone said this in a comment, I think, but this story is based off of Polish folklore. I'm a quarter Polish, so it was really interesting to see some of the folklore. But I think although the wood is terrifying, the story was at its core the most enchanting and the most visceral whenever the wood was present. The writing I also thought was lovely. It didn't necessarily blow me away, but I thought it was good. I also thought, and don't worry, I'm not going to say which characters this involves, if it's just thing you kind of see random people doing from afar or anything like that, but I will say that I thought the theme of sex and gender roles was handled really well, which again is not something you often see in young adult. Granted, granted when <laughs> a certain thing happens I kind of wanted to be like, I mean, this is being handled well, although not realistic at all. <laughs> but again, that was really refreshing to see how that was handled. There are a lot of very strong females in the story. So now let's go ahead and get into the bad. There are just a few issues I had with the book, but the biggest one for me would probably have to be pacing. Now again, this might not be more so a critique of the book as much as just my personal preferences, but I just wish that each element of the story would have been delved into just a bit more. For example, Agnieszka is taking taken to the tower and then it feels as if to me almost immediately that plotline end and another one goes ahead and begins and it just felt as if 
so much was happening, so much action, so much adventure, which I should say, I'm not a big fan of action adventure novels, and, and that's what this kind of ended up feeling like to me, because just so much was happening. I just felt as if none of the topics were delved into as much as I would have personally have liked. I, I was really invested and intrigued when she's in the tower, and then the moment the plot changed and something else occurred, it really started to drag for me, and then it would pick up again, and then it would drag. So my reading experience was kind of off kilter, I would say. And I also wish how magic exists in this world would have been developed a little bit more. So I really think overall if less had been happening this book would have been just a lot better in my opinion. So in the end I gave this three and a half out of five stars but just because of those issues it's probably not going to be a favorite for me. So please let me know what you thought of this book and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!